guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve these goddess box braids so first you're gonna need um, Kanikalan braid I'm using these these are the 50 inch pre-stretched Kanikalan hair and this is in the shade T1B30 that's T1B30 the only product I'm gonna be using in our hair is the shine and jam conditioning um, gel so first I'm gonna section her hair So after sectioning her hair, I'm going to use some of the conditioning gel to place at the roots so it has a seamless look. And then I'm going to take the amount of braid that I want and from that I'm going to take about one third. Um, and I'm going to place that same one third over the bigger section that's in the middle right there. And you should have a loop looking like this. fix the braid on my hand like that and then place it over her hair and I'm gonna do it as if I'm doing a regular cornrow And as you see here when I braid it down almost to the end of her hair I'm going to use some more of the conditioning gel to apply it to the ends of her hair so it blends with the conical on here seamlessly Because I'm going to do the curls at the end, I'm just going to leave this section here. So I'm going to continue with this pattern until I'm through. Well, I'll try and show you a bit closer when I reach the top.
So for the ends, I'm going to be using the Deep Twist by Free Tress. This is the crochet here. And I'm using the number 30. So this blends with the braiding here I used earlier. And I'm going to cut it in two and then take just a tiny bit of the section. You won't end up using this, the entire pack for this um, style. And then I'm going to use some crazy glue to keep this in place. So place the hair into the braid and continue braiding it down probably one to two inches place two to three drops of the crazy glue where you stop braiding the hair and then you're gonna allow this to dry it dries really fast after you've allowed this to dry you're gonna take Use a scissors to cut off the excess conical on here. That's the straight part that is left at the end. So you just have a seamless looking um, pattern going down. And that's it. The only thing I'm going to be using after I finish trimming up the hair, I'm going to be using some mousse. The one I'm using here is by Herbal Essence. So that's it guys for this little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Bye.